Hi, welcome to my Hot Rocker iPhone app video. My name is Mike Schoenborn. You're looking at a demonstration of the iPhone app I created using Red Foundry App Developer. I like this developer. It's free, easy to use, and I get professional looking apps. It does take some practice manipulating the graphics, and of course some time is needed setting up for the content, the JPEGs, MP3, URL links. Once that's done, it only takes a few hours to complete the app. In this video, I'll walk you through the complete development of my Hot Rocker app, show you how I produced it for my GarageBand friend. You'll see how I create the Hot Rocker logo, background, featured single, new album, latest video menu, plus the uh, photo gallery. So let's get started. I'm already logged in, so we start at the uh, Red Foundry dashboard page. You can see I have several applications already in development. Uh, we're going to create a new app, so just simply click on Create an App and enter in our name. This is just a reference for the project uh, Create App. If you're inexperienced like me, then you just want to use this uh, default module builder and select that. You can see our project name, Hot Rocker, now. And make sure you get your Viz app from iTunes. You'll need it for your development, and it's free. And uh, we'll go up here to App Builder and start with App Icons. This is where you put your personal graphics for the iPhone and iTunes icons. Uh, the iPhone app is just at image and it needs to be a 57 by 57 PNG. Uh, hit select and now we have a new graphics for our icon. Okay, the loading screen. This is the uh, first image you see after touching the icon on your iPhone while the app is launching. Uh, click add image, select your graphics. This must be a PNG file. And we're all done then with the loading screen section. Now we enter the app theme section. In this section we're going to stay with the iOS default theme. I'm going to make one change in this section and that's to the title bar. We're going to select the iOS title bar. I like the looks of that title bar just uh, with no modification. It has a look, nice look and feel to it. Uh, the second reason is that I get to choose a custom graphics for it. So we're going to make this a black title bar. Hot Rocker is black and red. And, and then we're going to go and select a new image. And here I'm going to pick my custom Hot Rocker Flaming Red Letters graphics. Uh, so we'll go ahead and select that. And this is going to look really good on the home page, so you'll see that there. And uh, make sure we hit the Save button. In fact, in all these sections, when you make a change, hit the Save button. It uh, updates your module, as you can see at the top of the screen. Also, if you do leave this section and come back and you didn't hit the Save button, uh, your choices all go back to default and you'll lose your changes. The rest of the section stays as the default, so we're all done with the app theme section. Okay, we'll leave the social network section alone at default. We'll go to the app settings section. We're going to unenable the iPad. We're going to make this an iPhone only application and we'll do a save and at this point we're done setting up Hot Rocker. We haven't really done anything that you can see on the phone at this point. Now the fun starts with the Add a Tab module, and this is where we'll actually build the menus. Click on Add a Module, and we'll see our home page menu module. We'll be able to select a module here. We're going to use the Foundry Simple List. We'll get a picture of that on, on the iPhone. Click on the iPhone layout, and now we'll give this a title, Hot Rocker, of course. Click the Add button, and now we'll see that we've added a new module to the App Builder list called Hot Rocker. We can go and customize that Hot Rocker, but uh, what we'll focus on now is adding a background. So we'll give the uh, Hot Rocker background. Uh, we'll click on Change Image down here and add our graphics. And we haven't really had a chance to see anything on the phone at this point, but by now adding this background image we can actually see uh, some of our work and we'll go take a look at that now on the uh, Viz app and we see the Hot Rocker header and the background. Okay so now we're going to add a sub module to Hot Rocker. This will be our first menu item. You can see when I, I uh, highlight that, that that we're putting a sub module on Hot Rocker. If you click here that adds a sub module to the app builder. So we want to add a sub module to Hot Rocker. We click on this, we get a list of choices. We're going to do a single MP3 song. So we're just going to do Foundry simple tra single track and you see what that looks like on the iPhone. 
Okay, so this will be a single MP3, and we'll call this Featured Single. And we're going to add this, and it'll become a sub-module to the Hot Rocker module. This will be our first menu item, so the first sub-module added to Hot Rocker module. You see it there. Right away, we're prompted to add a URL. So I have a URL from the Hot Rocker website, which points to an MP3 file. And that's all we'll do for now in the uh, Featured Single. We're going to go and add another menu. Now we're going to add our second sub-module to the Hot Rocker module. And then we'll click on this. And uh, we're going to do another audio file. This time we're going to do several tracks. We're going to pick uh, Foundry Album Track List. And it'll look like this on the iPhone. And uh, we're going to enter a title of uh, New Album. And we're going to click Add, and that will add it to the uh, Hot Rocker module. So we'll have two sub-modules on Hot Rocker, Featured Single and New Album. And New Album's prompting us for a URL. In this case, I'm going to use the uh, existing Red Foundry database. I've uploaded the MP3s already onto there. So I'm going to, I'm going to select that, uh, that uh, URL from Red Foundry, make use of that upload. And you can see that I have already uh, four, four MP3s with the associated descriptions. And, and that's all we'll do for, for right now on the new album side. We're going to add our third and final sub-module to Hot Rocker. There's going to be some videos. So we'll pick Foundry List. And these will be a list of videos this time. So we're going to call this Latest Videos. And we're going to add this to the Hot Rocker main module. So you'll see latest videos sub-module listed in the Hot, Hot Rocker's main module on the left. And as before, it's asking us for a URL for the videos. I, again, have uploaded some videos to the Red Foundry uh, database. So we're going to select that and use those. And that completes our menu items for Hot Rocker. Now we're going to add a tab module. This will not be a sub-module of Hot Rocker. And we're going, I'm going to do a, a gallery of pictures. So we're going to select Foundry Grid to display the pictures. You can see that it looks like a grid of, of pictures. And we're going to enter a title called Gallery. We're going to click on Add this time. Add will make this module right under the App Builder. It will be the sixth main module listed in App Builder. It's not a sub-module of Hot Rocker. It also indicates uh, that it prompts us for a URL. I've loaded some pictures up on Flickr, and I have a URL pointing to those Flickr pictures. And so this gallery module is very simple to configure. And we will just go ahead and let, we'll use the default settings in gallery. And we'll go ahead and save these settings and update our module. And we'll go and have a look at how this is on our iPhone now. So we go ahead and ro launch the Hot Rocker app, and you can see the menu items aren't quite right yet, but our gallery is functioning nicely and pulling down the images from Flickr. So we have to go back and, and fix those menu items now. Last thing on our list to do is we're going to go back into the Hot Rocker module, and we're going to make our final adjustments to the menu items, the text, basically. And you noticed it was white before and not very centered, so... In the Hot Rocker module, we have a number of items that can be customized. So we'll start with the color of the text. Uh, Hot Rocker is not white text, it's red. So we're going to make this red in the color palette. We'll say OK. I'm also going to make these uh, letters a bit fancy. We're going to add, uh, we're going to turn shadow on. And we'll leave the shadow color black uh, against that light uh, light background that we've picked. It looks very nice. And I've gone ahead and uh, um, use these values so it should look pretty good in terms of the offset. And uh, we're going to also increase the font size because I like the letters of the menu to uh, fill the screen and so we'll maximize that size. And of course um, we're going to have to go and change the uh, uh, padding. Um, these, this is kind of like the margins of, uh, in Microsoft Word or Publisher. And so we're going to increase the margin so that the larger fonts will fit across the screen without um, auto-wrapping on us. 
and uh, the rest of the items can we can use the defaults that that are set up in the module and we're all set to go ahead and look at our final version of hot rocker on our iPhone and again I launched the app on Viz and I can see that I have nice size red fonts to complete my hot rocker look and feel the app allows to uh, scroll so I could easily add more menu items and I could add more buttons down by gallery I hope this video helps you jumpstart your app development ideas thank you for watching and good luck